If you can answer this basic math problem without a calculator, well, that's a pretty strong indication that you are excellent at basic mathematics. Let's take a look at the problem. So we have 5 plus 3 in parentheses times 2 minus 4 squared divided by 8. All right, so once again, no calculators. But if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through the complete solution in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, we're going to see how well you understand basic math. And uh, this is a great little problem. And my advice to you is don't rush it and write out each step because I'm going to go through this problem step by step by step. And if you did something wrong, well, of course, you'll know what to correct. All right, so one more time, we have 5 plus 3 in parentheses times 2 minus 4 squared divided by 8. How do you solve this problem without a calculator? Well, let's take a look at the full solution right now. Okay, so the first step to solve this problem is to understand the basic language of mathematics. So how do we express things in mathematics? Well, this thing right here is called a numeric expression. This entire value is expressing one number, but the way it's doing it is through these various uh, symbols, right? So we're talking about mathematical operations and different mathematical symbols. And these are like the words that make up a sentence in mathematics. So we need to understand what parentheses mean in mathematics. Of course, we have an addition operator here. This right here, this two outside of the parentheses, this means multiplication. We have subtraction. Then we have a power right here. And then, of course, we have division as well. So assuming that you understand basic division, subtraction, multiplication, and addition, and basic powers, I'll explain this in just one second. We need to understand how this all fits together. And specifically, we need to know the correct order to do this problem because we have a lot of different options, right? So maybe we can kind of divide first, then uh, multiply second, and then do powers next. Or maybe we could do powers first, and then division, and then addition, and then multiplication. So the order in which you do this problem is going to generate different values. Of course, there's only one correct path to do this problem. And the way we know that is something called the order of operations. So we're going to use this little acronym PEMDAS to tell us the correct steps to solve this problem. Okay, so this is a checklist that goes from left to right. Now I'm going to give you a little memory aid here to remember PEMDAS, and that is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but uh, we thank her for her contributions to mathematics. Okay, so PEMDAS, what does it stand for? Well, clearly this is an acronym, and these letters stand for something, but before I tell you what they stand for, what we're going to do is use this uh, checklist from left to right. We're going to scan our math problem and just kind of go through uh, these steps one by one. All right, so P, this is our first step, stands for parentheses. So if we have any parentheses, but specifically, we're talking about grouping symbols, things that can group numbers together. So if I had like 2 divided by 8 plus 1, I can group numbers together by using parentheses. So I can kind of group uh, the 2 and the 8 right here, or maybe I can group uh, the 8 and the 1 right here. Okay, so if you have any groups, uh, and of course these groups are indicated by parentheses or these uh, type of brackets or squiggly brackets like so, this is where you're going to start. Now, if your math problem has uh, multiple sets of brackets and parentheses, you're going to start from the innermost and work your way out. Okay, so again, not every problem is going to have parentheses, but if it does, that's where you're going to start. Now, E is our next step. So E stands for exponents, but you can think of this as powers. So what is a power? Well, basically, it's things like this, 2 to the second power, 
or let's say two to the third power. So this is a power. This little three up here is called the exponent part of the power. The two is called the base. The entire thing is a power. And the way this works is we're going to take this bigger number two and multiply it by itself this many times, which of course is three. So this is, whoops, not two times three, two times two times two. All right, so this is three times. So two times two times two, of course, is eight. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do next. After parentheses, it's going to be exponents or powers if we have them. Okay, so we have M, D, A, and S. Let me go ahead and tell you what these stand for. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, I know a lot of you out there are super excited. You're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, kind of raising your hand. I know what's next. Uh, multiplication, right? We're going to do multiplication next. And I would say that is a very logical response. Unfortunately, that is not the way this works. So we have to understand how this PEMDAS uh, checklist works. So, uh, by the way, this is a place where a lot of people make errors. So the next thing that we're going to do is any multiplication or division that we have in our problem. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to do whatever we see first from left to right. So if we have multiplication, then division from left to right, well, we'll do the multiplication first. But if we have division and then multiplication from left to right, we're going to do the division first. So you got to really be, be, uh, really be paying attention, excuse me, to this step. A lot of people make errors right here. And then addition and subtraction works the same way. It's uh, whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this uh, PEMDAS checklist to our problem. And the best way to do this is just one step at a time. Okay, so here we have our PEMDAS. We're going to start with our P. And we're going to ask ourselves, do we have any parentheses? Well, clearly we do. Here is some uh, grouping symbols. So what this means is that we got to do all the math inside of any grouping symbols or parentheses first. And we're just going to do this again one step at a time. All right, so the, the first thing that we're going to do is 5 plus 3, which of course is 8. All right, so we took care of our parentheses. Now we're going to move on to E which is powers. So we're scanning our problem. Do we have any powers? Well, of course we do. We have four squared. So that is going to be our next step. Now remember, math is a language and the way you express yourself, you know, in terms of, well, let's suppose you wanted to write a little story or something to someone, you know, if you kind of like did a bunch of scribble scratch, someone would be like, you know what? I really didn't understand your story, right? I don't, I really don't know what's going on. Same thing in math, right? You got to express things one thing at a time, nice and neat and organized. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is any exponents or powers. Of course, we have one here, four squared. So four squared is what? Well, four squared is take four and multiply it by itself. So four times four, of course, is 16. So we're going to do this step. And instead of four squared, we're going to have a 16. So this is our problem right here. Okay, so we have eight times two minus 16 divided by eight. So to finish this problem up, you have to keep referencing this PEMDAS checklist. So we're going to take the rest of these steps in just one second. Now, before we finish up the last steps to this problem, I need you to take a step for me, and that is to hit that subscribe button. This really does help me grow my YouTube channel, and the whole purpose of my channel is to reach as many people as I possibly can and help them in mathematics. So by you subscribing, it really does help that YouTube algorithm. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that bell notification as well. Matter of fact, this is the way I look right now. Now, if you need help with basic mathematics, check out these two courses. I'm going to leave links to them in the description of this video. My Math Foundations course, which is a quick review of basic mathematics, or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. This course reviews uh, basic math, and then I get into algebra and uh, geometry and some other things as well. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So now that we understand PEMDAS and the order of operations, all we have to do is follow this checklist to get to the right answer. All right, so we took care of all of our parentheses. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, you still have some uh, parentheses right here. 
but there's nothing to do inside of the parentheses. So grouping symbols or parentheses right here means if you have any kind of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or any uh, kind of other stuff. So when you just have a number by itself, well, that is uh, basically done. Okay, so we took care of our exponents or power. So now we're down to multiplication or division. Do we have any multiplication or division in this problem? Well, right here, this uh, two next to this eight, this means multiplication. And then of course we have a division operator over here. So what do we see first from left to right? Well, we see the multiplication first. So that's what we're gonna do next. So eight times two, of course, is 16. So at this point, we have 16 minus 16 divided by eight. So you can see how easy it is to make a mistake because someone, if they didn't know the correct order of operations, may decide, well, you know, 16 minus 16, I know what that is, that's zero divided by eight or zero divided by eight, which of course uh, the answer here would be zero, but this is wrong because we don't do subtraction before any multiplication or division. So our last step or second to last step is going to be 16 divided by eight. Okay, so again, if you are learning basic math or reviewing this stuff, you gotta continuously uh, review this PEMDAS checklist, right? So easy to make an error math. That's why you just kind of want, uh, want to be nice and neat and write things one step at a time and kind of double uh, check yourself as you go. All right, so 16 divided by 8, of course, is 2, right? So 16 divided by 8 is 2. So we can write a 2 right there. So now we're down to 16 minus 2, which, of course, is 14. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. Fantastic. But if you made an error, you know, no big deal. The whole purpose behind my videos is to learn from your mistakes. But you can't get better in math unless you practice. And if you really want to learn this stuff, uh, a couple of suggestions for you. One, I have a thousand, or not a thousand, thousands of uh, math videos on my YouTube channel. You kind of scour through, and I have them at all different levels. So I have a lot of basic math, algebra, geometry, and more advanced mathematics uh, on my channel. But uh, the best way to learn from me is to take one of my courses. Again, you can find links to all of that in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.